All right, let me see. Is this working? Yeah, it is working. I hope it's working. I'm trying something new with my uh, camera and clip champ. Uh, I'm trying to record the screen. I hope it works. All right, today I want to talk about anarchy, anarchism, anar being an anarchist. Now, I would be considered an anarchist. Okay, now the definition of anarchy is this. Absence of government. All right, let's go down here. Uh, anarchy exemplifies how words may have similar like the distinctive meanings. The earliest recorded use of the word from the early 16th century meant simply absence of government, albeit with the implication of civil disorder. Okay, a similar but ameliorated meaning began to be employed in the 19th century in reference to a utopian society that had no government. Now, I would be the type of person, yes, okay, if we have no government, you, me, I need to govern myself, all right? I cannot be all willy-nilly and just do what I want. I need to govern myself. I need to have temperance. I need to have self-control. I need to use critical thinking skills, logic, common sense. All right, but let's go to utopian. All right, utopia. Utopian is uh, of relating to or having the characteristics of a utopia. Now, what is the earliest... Let's see if I got that up here. No. I'm going to read from my notepad here. The word utopia was coined in 1516 from ancient Greek by the Englishman Sir Thomas More for his Latin text, Utopia. It literally translates as no place. Coming from the Greek, u, not, and to. I, now I, I, I'm sorry, I don't read Greek, but uh, utopia would be what they call it, utopia. No, it means not place, no place. It meant a non-existent society. Why? Uh, because, right down here, having impossibly ideal conditions, especially of social organization. Okay, impossibly... Uh, uh, ideal conditions. I want a home where I do not need to clean the floors or the walls. I don't need to clean dishes. Nothing ever gets dirty. My grass grows to the proper height and just stops growing. There are no weeds. There are no bugs. Nothing. Everything works perfectly. I, bullshit. Okay. Anybody who says I want a utopia doesn't get it. They, they, they want this fantasy world. My utopia will be a utopia where, okay, what we have now, we have resources. If you want to do something, you have resources in, 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 in order to get the job done. Okay, I'm making this video. I have resources here on the internet to help me to make this video and help you to understand. Because I'm learning. I, I, I never knew much about these definitions, like anarchy, okay? Uh, I always thought it was a disorder. Now, it is the implication of civil disorder, but it doesn't always mean that. It can, that it, there is that where you have civil disorder, where people don't want government and governance, like, you know, and, and that way they can go ahead and do what they want. Well, when I think of doing what I want, I think of building onto my house without having to get a permit. I don't have a tax bill coming in the mail and taking money from me when I want to do projects, when I want to buy another vehicle. Okay? Now, now this here will knock some people and they'll go, well, you know, you need that. I don't want uh, insurance. I want to be able to have the money in order to pay for what I need to pay, fix what I need to fix without having a second or third party come in. Okay, banks, I'm buying a truck and the truck's uh, $20,000. 
And then the bank puts interest on top of that because they take the loan. And now I owe both them and uh, uh, they pay the the um, the the car dealer and I'm paying them. Uh, sorry, pal. We me and you don't make the deal. OK, I'm not paying interest. Gosh, I mean, just think about that. You pay what, 15, I don't know how much it is anymore, but you pay a, a few thousand dollars or more on top of what you're already paying. If I want to pay, if I have $20,000 to buy something, I'm going to pay $20,000. I'm not paying $25,000 or $27,000 or whatever it, it comes to. I'm not thinking in the math, but you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I don't want that kind of government. I don't want you taking my money from me. I work hard for my money, okay? I'm taking a few days off from lifting weights because of how hard I got to work for my damn money. I'm on peace rate and I got to bust my ass. And then the government that don't do my damn job comes in? No, no, sorry. And then the people waking up to this. But anarchy or an anarchist in the way I, in my the context that I, I guess you could say, what context I see it as is no government, I except for me. I'm governance. So there is government, but it's my government, okay? My, the way I will govern myself, all right? So, but, and it does mean the absence of order because those people who are anarchists, it, it, that's, that's the thing, you know, a true anarchist don't want government and is not going to mess with you. He wants to be left alone. He's going to leave you alone. Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. A fake anarchist wants to be uh, chaotic and, and, and cause disorder and mayhem and, and go around hurting people. And you happen to mess with someone who is a true anarchist and just wants to be left alone, that might end in a bad way. So... But anyway, you know, I just did this because I want to learn more about this. And uh, I'm going to make another video on statism and the statists. And, uh, you know, I hope I taught somebody something. If you already knew it and maybe I missed something, you know, let me know in the comments. But uh, that's all I got right now. And uh, until, well, until my next video, which will be on statism. And then I'm going to make another one on controlled opposition, uh, you know, wh where I have a problem like some people, and maybe you do too. Anytime anybody's on social media talking about some political stuff or like a Sean, like a Russell Brand or a, a Tucker Carlson or uh, whoever, you're going, yeah, that guy's controlled opposition. And maybe they are, maybe they're not. And I'm going to talk about that too, because I'm learning more about that. And some of this stuff, I've made mistakes in the past. So, so I'll be back. And uh, I don't think I said this, but until uh, this is Kramer unstuck and until next time, uh, this is Kramer unstuck signing off.